What's up, everybody? Big Herc, fresh out, you know, on here with uh, Bounce Back, Life After Prison, you know, doing this little collabo. A lot of you guys be uh, asking to see, uh, you know, different people on the channel and, you know, share game. And uh, me and Bounce Back, man, you know, we've been, been doing some networking and, you know, chopping it up. And I figured it'd be a good opportunity to bring them on the show. And so we're going to have um, a couple of different episodes on each other's channel. Links will be in the description, and make sure you guys subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, let us know what you think, man. I mean, you know, this prison stuff, man, we didn't, you know, it's not something we glorify. We're not trying to exploit the system as far as, you know, people who have, have fell on hard times. But we're trying to just simply provide information, hopefully some knowledge, and you guys are able to make better choices than we did and uh, avoid this shit all the way around the board because, uh, it ain't, it ain't nothing to go to prison, man. It don't make you anybody. You know, you're better off if you were to stage your ass in college or in a trade or something. But um, anyways, B, how you doing, man? Big Hurt. What up, homie? I'm good, man. I'm chilling. I am, uh, I'm doing my thing, enjoying my life, staying free, and uh, trying to build this shit one day at a time, man. And um, listen, man, much respect to you once again. Much respect to your entire platform. Thank you guys for having me on. Thank you for listening to me. And um, let's chop this shit up, man. All right, I had a question for you, man. Um, what's your best piece of advice for someone that's coming home from prison and starting life all over again? Man, listen, that is a phenomenal question because, you know, I, I get asked, you know, advice all the time. How do you turn it around? How do you bounce back? And this is my absolute, it's a, it's a multiple piece of advice. So you got to put all this together. My best piece of advice is this. Number one, nobody owes you anything. And you have to accept that. You have to believe that. You have to understand that. And then you have to use that and understand that when I say nobody owes you anything, you owe you. And that's it. You owe it to you to take whatever you have in this life, whatever you have left. Look, Big Hurt, he came home after 120 months. I came home after a similar uh, sentence with absolutely nothing. And there was nobody there handing me a cup saying, Hey, take this cup and drink from it. Nobody was handing me shit. And that's what we all got to realize is that nobody owes you nothing. Take that for what it is and realize you owe you, you got to go out there and get the cup and fill it up and you drink from your own cup. And, and you know, it, you have to somebody in our shoes or a similar shoes, or just if you've been through hard times or difficult times, and you can't just go the normal route that everybody else is going. You have to think outside of the box, you know, and there are so many ways to do that. And what I tell people is, look, you got to be the hustle in your own life. You know, you cannot just sit around and wait on somebody or depend on other people. You either, it's going to be one of three things. You're either going to be the hustle or you're going to go out there and hustle for somebody else for the rest of your life, or you're going to continue to get hustled. So you just have to make a choice. So my best piece of advice, again, is it's a multiple piece. Realize nobody owes you shit. You owe it to you. You got to go out there and be the hustle of your life. Think outside the box. And, you know, when you get set, set back, when you hit difficult, hard times, when people tell you no, when people are like, ah, you can't do it, you can't make it, don't listen to it. Keep pushing. Never surrender on your dreams or, you know, whatever you're pursuing, pursue it relentlessly. You know, and that's my absolute best piece of advice. And uh, I think that's a great piece of advice, man, for somebody who um, who is uh, maybe recently released or who's been out for a while, who's trying to make it out here. And, uh, you know, hopefully along that path, they've actually changed the way they, you know, they looked at life. You know, a lot of people think that, you know, oh, man, B, you're not the same, man. I remember back in the day. Well, look, that was back in the day. <laughs> this is today. And, you know, people evolve. <clears throat> and uh, I do a gut check every year of the people that I'm socializing with. And I, you know, I determine whether or not I need to continue that association. And, um, you know, I'm not hanging out with people just for the simple fact that I'm lonely. I got my wife. I don't need to hang around a bunch of other people and have conversations. So I always tell people, man, make sure you put yourself around people or individuals that are going to stimulate your mind. If not, take the time to reflect on yourself. But your mind, your mental game has got to be tough, man. Like you said, you got to be relentless. You got to be determined. You, you, you have to have prepared yourself 
And you can't expect anybody to give you shit because nobody's going to give you anything, you know? And especially with um, the Scarlet Letter you have now being an ex-felon, you're going to have a lot more challenges and, um, you know, you're going to come out expecting things, but, you know, you're going to, you're going to be met, met with a, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of doors being shut on you because of, you know, just what people perceive. So, you know, being, um, being determined um, and, and not expecting handouts and just uh, perseverance, you know, overall just, you know, setting yourself some goals and going after them and don't let anything, to, you know, determine, detract you from whatever it is you're trying to pursue. And um, from there, you, you'll, you'll, be, you'll be successful. You will, man, if you stick to your path. You know, but the thing is, that, and it doesn't just necessarily apply to somebody that's uh, coming home from prison. This applies for anybody yeah. that's, that's starting over in life, you know, no matter what type of failure setback that you've been through, maybe it's some financial shit, your job got lost or you went through a major divorce or whatever. You know, there's a bazillion setbacks that we could talk about where people have to start over. And one of the big things that you mentioned a minute ago is who are you around? What type of people are you around? Because you know what? We got just one shot at this life, man. Once this done, it's a wrap, man. And it blows by like before you know it. So you do have, that's critical that you examine the people that you're around. You know, if you want to go places, you, you have to associate or be around the type of people that are also going places. Unless you're, unless you're just already made and you don't need a damn thing. You don't need anyone. But in life, man, it's all about networking with well, people. And, and, and a big thing too, man, is like people think that you can build, you, you, you need, a, you need a, a team to build a major platform. Absolutely. It can be, it's not, Microsoft is not a one-man operation. Um, you know, IBM, um, you know, uh, Apple, you, you're talking about, or Facebook, you're talking about campuses full of brainiacs, people who are creating, people who are making moves, and that's how you got to look at it. So be careful in how you build your team. Like you said, uh, the people you have around you, make sure they have your best interests, you know, test them to make sure that they believe in you. If a person's constantly saying, oh, you know, be you always talking about you're going to get this, man, and, you know, blah, 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 and, and, you know, they're on the down low throwing little little lugs at you, you know that this person is jealous, and you need to get the hell away from them. Plain yeah. and simple, man. No doubt, man. You got to keep the grass cut short. Always look out for the snakes, you know, because they're slithering all around. You always got to keep an eye out for it. Um, the people that are changing the world, man, they're, they're not doing it alone. They're the people that are masterminding. They're people that are getting together and say, hey, let's put our thoughts together. You have this quality. I have this quality. Let's combine this because when you combine two qualities that come together, the, the, the sum of those two together are much greater than either one of them by themselves. So it's all about getting around the right people. You know, no matter what the hell you have been through, make sure you're around the right type of people that are hungry, that can help you excel from, you know, if you're down here and you're trying to move up, you got to get around the people that can help you, you know, lift you up. And then once you make it to a point, you know, another great thing as well is always reach back. If you can help somebody else, if you can give some type of advice, if you can say, hey, look, I've been down that path. I've been that way. That shit's not going to work. It's a dead end, man. It's, a, it's over with. It's a life sentence over there. It's death. Don't go down that path. Let me show you a better way. You know, if you make it to a point that you can reach back, always reach back. You know, I, I love trying to give people advice or help people or, you know, encourage people. So, you know, it's, it's a multiple uh, level thing as far as like a good piece of advice. I, you know, I don't think there is like one solid, just single piece of advice. I like to give a bunch of advice to people, man. I like well, you, ne you never... You never know where you're going to get your jewels from, man. I, I tell you, man, like a lot of times I, I've seen comments like, oh, man, uh, you were in prison. Now you're out here trying to tell people what to do. I'm like, man, I'm not trying to tell you what I'm not trying to tell you anything. I, I'm just sharing. If you want to listen, if you don't listen, turn it off. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to tell you to change your life. Apparently you're happy. But if I would have had somebody such as myself and I could have tuned in and heard something, maybe would have, maybe would have, it would have, it would have channeled something. Maybe it would have, you know, made something click in my head. Like, you know what, man, you know, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to go to the park and sell drugs anymore. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to run around over here and do this stuff. You know, I'm going to think about focusing more on my sports and my academics, you know, little stuff like that. And I get emailed where I know that it, it has had that effect on other people. So I think it's a blessing to be able to listen in on, you know, 
individuals such as ourselves who are sharing because a lot of people don't share and therefore nobody knows. And it's like, if you would have knew certain things, maybe you would have thought differently. You know, maybe if, if you know, you wouldn't, wouldn't have assumed so much, you wouldn't have got caught up in a lot of the shit you got caught up in. And that's how I look at it, man. It's like, you know, as an, as a person who's been through the fire, I feel that being able to share and give back and, you know, maybe deter some youngster from doing something that's going to ruin his life. I think that's just, I think it's a, a great thing, man. Yeah, no doubt, man. What, you know, what you're talking about a minute ago, I get similar emails, but as far as like people saying, Oh, you've been to prison. How are you going to come out here and tell people what to do? You know, to me, it's like, I'm not trying to tell anyone what to do. I'm trying to tell you, Hey, like you said a minute ago, I've been through the fire. That shit was hot. It burned my ass. I'm telling you what not to do. I'm trying to tell you, Hey, look, you don't have to go down that path. And, you know, I think the same thing hurt. Looking back, you know, I, I own every mistake I made, decision I made, the path that I took. I own every bit of it. But I know for sure, looking back, that if I would have had somebody, somebody that could have actually got a hold of me and said, hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. Listen, man, there's another path to take. Let me show you where you're about to end up at. Um, I think, you know, I can't, we can't go back and see for sure, but I'm pretty damn sure that I would have taken a completely different path. So, you know, for me, one person saying, hey, man, I appreciate what you're doing. I appreciate what you're sharing. I appreciate your message. You encourage me not to take that path. To me, that's the ultimate form of success. You know, it's, it is what it is. I love it, man. I love hearing that from people. I agree, man. I agree. And like you said, it's, it's uh, you know, in a lot of, uh, in, in a lot of indigenous communities, the elders are constantly there to lace up the young ones and to provide them with, you know, life skills as, as well as survival skills. And, um, you know, in our culture, we have, you know, parenting, but it doesn't mean that they're giving you, you know, life skills. You might have, unless you have a parent who's hands-on, but a lot of times you get your life skills from school, from the streets, from people that you see in the neighborhood, you know. Um, you know, the first time you had sex, who told you about that? That was a homie. Hey, man, you pull it out, you put it in there. You know what I mean? You know, moving around a little bit, you know. And you watch him and you, you try to emulate the air too. You hump in the air and do all, you know, my mom didn't tell me how to do that. You know what I mean? Or, you know, what's going to, what it's going to feel like. So you learn all this stuff from the street, man. And it's, it's a shame because, you know, a lot of times you, you learn it and there's, there's consequences of learning that, you know, mistakes being made, you know, child being born by accident and whatever the case may be. But um, having this, man, I think like, you know, you're, you're like I said, your platform, my platform, you know, being able to listen in and kind of like, you know, reflect on things that you hear. I think it, it's, it's a powerful thing, man. And um, that's how you go about, you know, changing the world to, a, you know, to make it more, more of a, a positive place, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. That's what it's about too, man. Adding something, giving some value from yourself to help change, to help create some type of positive change or positive impact. That's what it's all about, man. That is. Hey, B. Well, man, um, I appreciate you getting on here, man, and chopping it up, and us being able to share our platform so that people could have something to tap to to you know tune into. Um, you guys, make sure you guys check out both channels. Um, links in the description. Subscribe, share, like, and do all that great stuff, man. We're gonna be doing a lot more collaborations like this, and uh, you guys, like I said, check out both channels and also our Instagrams and our Twitters. I know. Uh, uh, B, what's your what's your Instagram? Bounce back B, the letter B. Okay, um, just bounce back B on Instagram. What about, you got Facebook too? Um, I got a Facebook too. I think it's called uh, Bounce Back B as well, but I'm not positive. <laughs> I'm not right. over there like. But if they, listen, if they go over to my channel, man, and link up on my YouTube channel, okay. all of my um shit is on there that they can find my links over to Facebook and over to um Instagram as well. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, man. All right, you guys. Hey, we appreciate you guys. And um, like I said, man, we're going to keep lacing you up. That's what time it is, man. Much love and respect to you all. Thank you, Hurt. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.